Hey there, Yogi. Welcome to day two. Here we are practicing a similar flow to what we did yesterday and building on it and creating something entirely new. So when you're ready, we're going to start on our backs today. And you can come down onto your mat, hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze and rock a bit side to side. Yeah. And if you'd like, you can bring the soles of your feet down onto the mat, knock the knees together, send the arms out wide, and just take a moment to rest and release on the earth. And you can stay here, or if you'd like, maybe bring right knee into chest. Maybe send a left leg long. Maybe keep the sole of the foot on the ground. Totally your choice. Just take a moment to nourish and rock the knee side to side. If you want, you can stretch your leg up to the sky and catching your thigh with your fingers wrapping around the back of your thigh, pressing the heel and just taking a moment to expand and open the body, the arm bones, the leg. And slowly releasing that first leg and coming to the other side. So hugging now left knee into the chest, maybe sending right leg long, maybe not. Finding the shape that is going to work for you. And then, of course, if you'd like, you can extend the left leg and get that stretch in the arm bones, catching the back of the left thigh with your hand. Pressing heel and feeling the openness and expansion in the back of your leg. Any shape that you make here, Yogi, in this practice, in any practice here, is entirely a choice. It is adaptable. It is an invitation. And you can take it and own it and love on it, and you can do something entirely different. When you're ready, you can release that leg. Let's hug both knees in, roll to the side, and slowly come up to a seat. And from your seated position, you'll bring hands onto heart, and again, come back to that reason why. And from that reason why, I want you to send a wish to yourself. Today, I wish for greater attention, greater peace, a little more wholeness, a little bit more breath. And we're going to come into just a little bit of breath work. Again, you can have your hands on your heart. You can bring them onto your body here if you'd like. And then you can feel the body expanding as you breathe. Inhale, expanding through the ribs. Only bringing the breath down into the ribs and then exhale to empty. Yeah. Let's do that four more times. Inhale to expand. Exhale to empty. Emptying all the way out. Inhale again. And let it go. Two more. And now when you're ready, let's come to our tabletop shape. And we'll come right into that preferred uh, option that you'd like, starting with extending the right leg long. Maybe coming into floating the right leg. Doesn't really matter what you choose. Just picking your shape. Picking your shape, pressing, finding your support, your engagement, your anchoring into the earth, using that belly, pulling it up into your spine. Yeah. I always need that reminder. And then maybe if you want, you can extend the arm and come into this balanced table. We'll be here for four breaths. And 
Last breath in, extending nice and long. Exhale, touching elbow to knee. Inhale, expanding back. Exhale to the tabletop, binding your cow pose. Exhaling to your cat. Perfect. Here we go. Coming to the other side, pressing palms, extending the left leg back now, pressing the foot into the ground, lingering in your calf stretch. If you liked that yesterday, if you like that today, maybe floating the heel, maybe floating the arm, finding the shape that works for you and adapting it to this practice, right? This moment. And allowing the arm and the leg to stretch the belly to strengthen and finding the pose that is for you in this moment. Breathing. Last inhale. Touching elbow and knee together, squeeze the two, inhale to lengthen, exhale to tabletop, finding the cow, expanding to the cat, walking palms forward, rolling over toes, let's find that downward dog, breathing in, and out. Coming into any of the adaptations that we offered yesterday, Feet nice and wide, bent knees, maybe hands on blocks. Four breaths here. Again, maybe coming to tabletop or child's pose. Letting this practice be for you. Letting the practice be in service of you. Breathing in one more breath, letting it go, bending knees, looking forward, tiptoeing, finding the front edge of your mat, inhaling to a halfway lift, exhale to fold it out. This time we're going to press to rise all the way up, breathing in, exhale, hands to heart center. Let's take an inhale. Let it go. Ah, hands on hips. Sipping back, finding warrior one. We're going to build on this shape today, pressing both feet into the ground, sending maybe one arm, maybe both up to the sky. Anchoring here, letting this warrior shape be strong and present and open and expansive and inviting. And whatever it needs to be for you today. You can stay here, maybe lifting up both arms. And if you'd like, you can bring hands together behind the back. If this is not accessible to you, then you can also use a strap and um, bring the hands, both hands onto a strap. And you're shimmying the arm bones nice and long. You're shimmying uh, a little bit more openness in the heart, maybe gazing up at the sky. Last breath in here. And again, maybe linger here if this is your shape, maybe coming into Humble Warrior, stretching your arm bones up to the sky, dropping head to the ground. Two more breaths. And then slowly releasing. Hands this time can come onto blocks, straight, straightening the front leg, long in the spine and I'm going to suggest you stay in a halfway lift today if this is a new shape for you pressing into the ground sending tailbone back sending your head nice and long and if you'd like and if it's part of your practice you can add a fold here in this fold there's a micro bend maybe a not so micro bend in the front knee you find your shape you find what is going to offer something special to you today I'm going to give it two more breaths When you're ready, you can step your left foot forward, inhale to a halfway lift, 
Exhale, let's fold down, meet the ground, and then press through both feet and rise up. Hands find heart center, and together we breathe in and let it go. Hands on hips, finding warrior one now on the other side. Again, remember those headlights. Remember the press of the feet. Remember the drawback of that left hip so that it meets the right hip. Maybe keeping both hands on your hips. Maybe sending one arm up to the sky. It's your choice. You find what feels best for you today. You make it yours. One of the measures for teaching that I give myself is when everyone in the room has their own version. Everyone in the room has their own shape. That's how I know I'm doing it right. Together, you can stay there. You can come into a different version of your warrior one. And if you'd like, hands behind the back, heart nice and open, stretching and expanding and breathing here. Every school of yoga is different. Every studio has a different vibe. Our vibe is openness. It's possibility. It's adaptations. It's uh, invitation. Let's breath in here. And if you want, you can fold forward and come into that. Um, the humble warrior. Again, being kind to the wrists here. If you want, sometimes it's helpful. Just keep the heels of the hands together. It doesn't matter how far the arms lift. And then when you're ready, you can drop hands maybe onto your blocks, finding that halfway lift super strong in the belly, super strong in the back of the neck, pressing into the ground, maybe adding that fold if it's part of your practice. If you're like me and just really love folding. <laughs> For me, feeling grounded and uh, connected to the earth is something that I'm always continually trying to cultivate within myself. So for me, finding the earth is rather delightful. But for you, it could be more of a fire element, right? Finding that halfway lift, getting strong and long and open. Last breath in here. And slowly, um, let's just find the earth today. Coming down into a seat, and then we'll slowly make our way onto the mat into your final resting pose. Now for this, if you'd like, you can come into your legs up the wall, maybe knock knees together, send your arms out nice and wide, so ending just as we began. Some kindness, with some ease, with rest. And from here, you can follow my words, or you can just tune it out. Maybe allowing lightness, this feeling of light pouring in from the crown of your head, pouring in through your heart, and spilling into each corner of your body, of your being, each corner of all that you are. Allowing it to consume you, this light to consume you, to clear out anything that no longer serves to make space for what is new and possible. Delighting in the possibility. And you can stay here as long as you'd like when you're ready, bringing knees to the side. Pausing on your side in your transition, noticing the shift, the change, the feelings that come from practice. And when you're ready, you can come up to a seat and cross your ankles and bring your head tall. Hands come on your heart, remembering that intention and in full gratitude for all that you are, for showing up today, for being in practice, for loving on yourself in this way. We will seal this practice with a nice big letting go breath. And we completed day two. Let's do it. Breathe in. Sigh it out. 
はあ。Thank you, Yogi, for practicing with me today. I hope this gave you a little something for your second day, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Be well.